Hi, my name is Max Sullivan, and today we will be talking about Raspberry Pi Baking Pi Lesson 1 from the University of Cambridge. Uh, the code you currently see on the screen was provided by the University of Cambridge um, at their website, uh, which can be found here. The tutorials. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and talk through it now. Uh, our first step is to load register 0. Uh, with the following hexadecimal number, um, and a thing of note is that the first 13 registers are used for general purpose. Um, so our first major step after that is to move 1 into R1, and the only reason we're using move uh, rather than a load uh, is just that it's faster. Uh, so then we're going to go ahead and shift that uh, over 18 bits, or shift that one over 18 spaces, um, which just gives you uh, one followed by a certain number of zeros based in base two. Um, we then store that one uh, four bytes away, uh, which readies the 16th pin for uh, output. Now the interesting thing about Raspberry Pi is, uh, as they describe on the Cambridge University website uh, is that for some reason, uh, which seems to be unbeknownst to the people who created this website, um, we need to turn the pin uh, on or off or in order to turn the LED on. Uh, so our first couple steps here, we're readying uh, and turning on the letting the LED we wanted to know we were going to be turning it on and now we actually have to turn the pin off for the light to go on uh, so we're going to set another one shift it over 16 places so much like above uh, just subtract two zeros and then go ahead and store that in um, in location 28 uh, which turns the pin off and the light on uh, then we just go ahead and we loop this code um, which just continues to keep the light on. So now we will go ahead and actually put it onto our Pi. Um, in order to do this, we'll do it through our command line. So we'll switch into our C drive, and we can see from our path variables that uh, C Garto user and C Garto bin have already been added to our. Um, to our uh, machine, sorry, and we'll go ahead and go into our eGarto folder and show that um, we've actually already built it, uh, and and these folders are or these files, the files necessary are already in there. We'll go ahead and delete them to show how it works. Uh, but we have our source file, which includes the assembly code we were just taking a look at, um, and a tool called PyMake, uh, which will allow us to actually compile our files and uh, get our kernel image. So we'll switch over into our eGarto user folder. And if we run a DIR, you can see everything that we currently are looking at over here is now over here. Um, or is being shown over here. But we want to run it again, and we can't do that with the build directory in there. So we'll go ahead and clean up the house, and we delete our image file, our build folder, as well as our listed map folder. Um, now if we run PyMake, we recreate all of those, um, all those files, and we'll see that they're back. Uh, luckily, the only thing that we need from this output is the new kernel image file which we'll throw onto our SD card. The rest of these files were provided by uh, Dr. Joel Rosine. Um, not quite sure where he got them but <laughs> uh, they were given. Um, we've renamed our other kernel file which is a nonsense name so that way when the Raspberry Pi goes to boot it up it'll only see um, this kernel file which is what we wanted to see so that it actually executes turning the light on and off. 
So now we'll go ahead and load this into our Raspberry Pi, and in just a second, uh, we'll be able to see that the light is in fact on, and that the code operates successfully. So if we just eject our USB device, uh, um, SD card, growing it in a Pi right now. Turn on the Raspberry Pi, and I'm seeing the light on. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you as well. So we'll turn our camera around here, and if you look on the Raspberry Pi, it's a little bit hard to see through this, um, but right here uh, we have our my finger. <laughs> Uh, we have our power light, and right next to our power light, um, they're kind of blending together, is a green act light, uh, which is turned on by our code. Anyways, that was Raspberry Pi Lesson 2, and, uh, or Lesson 1, sorry, and keep an eye out for Lesson 2.